Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me some. Show me some. Show me some. Day matter. Good day, sir. Since Did we you... had that compilation of Good Day, Madam, <laughs> and Good Day, Sirs, um, I really like that, Miranda. I, thought that I know. Was good I think that people are commenting that they like the one the best, and we both had sweaters on, and we had like our hoodies. I had it over my headphones, and it like looks like we have marshmallow heads. And <laughs> so uh, dumb. I just, if you ever guys ever need a laugh, go watch our reel that has just our Good Day, Sir, Good Day, Madam for like a minute long. <laughs> We were like singing it. Good day, madam. So dumb. But every single podcast, we started off that way. And I just like to be consistent, Miranda. Isn't isn't consistency a very big part of sales? Right. Yep. I always <laughs> say that you want to be consistently good instead of occasionally awesome. That's what I so, mean. Yes. Exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> How are you doing, pal? You doing good? Radtastical. I think we brought that on that that word the last time we had one of these guests on. We made that up. Rad, capital R A D, tastical, lowercase. Still and doing we, the same. Absolutely. Didn't, didn't we vote on it too in the in the chat? And I think it ended up winning. Yes. It, it should have been like kind of like a pinnacle of our. our we're going to make it. Let's see how many times that this guest can slide radtastical in the conversation, Miranda. <laughs> Speaking of guests. Um, we have both of them have actually been on, haven't they? They have repeat. We, we've, we've had Don't like four, sales guests. Yes, we've had like four guests total, like... and we're bringing back two of them. And I'm super pumped for this. Um, Rando, you had kind of put a post out there that we are getting the opportunity to be able to speak at SWAT. SWAT is Strategic Wealth Accumulation Tactics, if I'm not mistaken right. and um both actually both of these gentlemen that we have on are going to be speaking and just super pumped we have the one the only cody askins cody what is up buddy what is up john and miranda i am red tastical good to see you both <laughs> yes we got one miranda mark it down let's see how many red tasticals we can get we got one um and uh dude super pumped to have you and uh we also have Nate Offert, the SWAT king himself. <laughs> I'm, rad I'm rad tactical as well. Yes, it was. I, I told you I had the t-shirts printed up for that. For, for, we'll sell them at SWAT. <laughs> Are you going to rad tactical t-shirts? I was trying to steal from you guys because it was so popular, but I think you've TM'd it, so I don't think I got a chance to steal it. <laughs> well, that was the introduction. I was on the introduction call with rad tactical. I remember that, so. Yes, yes, indeed. Um, so... Obviously, Cody, you've had the experience of of SWAT and kind of attending it and just understanding like the difference, right? Because Miranda, that's why we do this podcast. We do this podcast. We, um, Nate, you're doing events like this. Cody, you, you've been like a pinnacle in the industry of like getting information out there to salespeople so they don't suck oh. at sales, right? Yeah. So they can make a difference because this is an amazing career. So like for you specifically, what, what would you think that kind of like SWAT kind of like meant for you maybe and how it kind of correlates to what you do too bud absolutely uh great to see you both i love that nate's on too man i got to know nate i don't know what we've known i've known nate probably over five years five and a half years something like that uh and i have absolutely grown to love this dude uh, i remember when, when when i first went to a swat he had me come speak to just his group of agents it was just an internal agency and Throughout this whole thing, I'm actually I'm a speaking, but but I'm attending because I, I believe in like supporting the event that I'm speaking at. I also believe in like, oh. hey, dude, I need to be poured into and learn as much as I possibly can, no matter how well I think I'm doing, right? And right. so I'm sitting there learning the whole time, and I, I'm 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 hearing like different personalities and 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 recruiting tactics, and you know, there's stuff on appointment setting and objections and closing, and I'm here, I'm I'm like the whole gamut of information. And I'm taking tons of notes and I'm going, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, dude, I can't wait to share whatever Nate's okay with me sharing on my YouTube channel. Like this is freaking awesome. Right. Mm -hmm. And I go up to him after and I'm like, dude, why don't you do this for the rest of the industry? I had a blast. I freaking love SWAT. And he's like, uh, really? She think I'm like, dude, are you kidding me? You should open this up. So thankfully, um, we are, we are because of our, our relationship and friendship, he, he, he listened um, no, he doesn't always listen, but he did in this example, which was great. 
Uh, and he opened it up. And so now I've, I've actually got a chance to speak and be at SWAT. I would say, gosh, Nate, I don't know, six, seven, eight times, right? It's been this out. one yet. Yep. You're a staple part of it. It's all your fault that we're doing this, by the way. I'm not, <laughs> it's your fault that I'm on on this podcast right now. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> talking about an event that I'm three weeks away that I'm like, got a thousand things to get done in the next <laughs> three weeks. <laughs> true, <laughs> true. Hey, here's, Actually, what, yeah. here's what I think I like the most, though, really quick. I was thinking about this is if you want to be great at, um, you know, like cooking, right? You're, you're going to go to culinary school, right? Yeah. If you want to be a doctor, you go to med school. If you want to be an attorney, you go to law school, right? All these things. Well, they've never told us where to go if we want to be a seven-figure earning insurance agent and agency owner. And to get to that level, you understand yourself, your personality, who you are, and how you can go earn an amazing income. SWAT covers that. But you also have to understand how to understand other people. And I can say that confidently, because of SWAT specifically, I understand my team better. I understand other agents around the industry better. I understand Nate and each of you better. And I am a huge fan of this specific event. I also will add really quick that there's a ton of events in the industry that I feel like are very boring. I do not enjoy being at. I go to a ton of them. I can tell you this. The nice thing about SWAT is, is it's like um, it's like a nightclub meets success principles. And I'm a huge fan, and I'm excited it's going to be ha happening back very soon. And I will tell the audience, dude, if you haven't been, you got to come hang out with us here in a couple weeks. So, so to sum it up, it's radtastical. <laughs> there, it's it's uh, superbly radtastical. <laughs> superbly radtastical. Wow. I love it. That is, um, I just can't, yeah, can't wait. It is. And, and you're you're absolutely correct, Cody. Um, like with anything in life, it takes it takes work, right? It takes that investment into yourself in order to get to the next level. And I think that that's what an event like this does is literally just you make the investment yourself. You go there. You're intentional with your learning. And I, I think one of the big things, Miranda, that you and I've always kind of talked about is like, when you listen with kind of like a student set of ears, you kind of learn one way, but when you listen with like a teacher's set of ears, um, like you just learn entirely different. So whenever I go to stuff like this, I truly listen to teach. And I think it gives you just a whole different perspective. And Nate, you can obviously kind of like talk to this. This is your event. This is your show. Um, you know, like, what would you say is kind of like a, a, a thing for you is like, why is going to an event like this so important for some of these the brand new agents, not even brand new, right? Even experienced and seasoned agents. Well, I think <laughs> you always hear sales is a numbers game. Um, and I always say, which is why I love your podcast, the name of it. I've always, always said, my mentor always said, sales is a numbers game if you suck at sales. You know, yeah. and fortunately in our industry, because we have leads and we're able to buy leads, you can you can suck in this business and activity will still make you profitable. Yeah. And that's awesome. So you don't have to get better. You don't have to learn how to um, um, sit down and, and understand someone's psychology of sale or how the brain works and how people actually make decisions and how to lead them in a way to create a realization in their mind that they need what you have. So they'll buy whatever you're selling, whether it be the opportunity or your product. You don't have to learn all that stuff. But in this industry, we're not selling cars. I've made millions of dollars doing credit card processing and network marketing, selling shampoos and unarmed deodorant and water filtration. I really wasn't impacting people's lives. So I take this a lot more serious because it's like I had, I'm in this industry because I had a really good friend of mine die at 34 years old and watched his entire family's life get destroyed. Yeah. And so every time I have that form or that lead or that contact, like I feel I have a responsibility to be able to help them protect their family and go against all that stuff in the mind of a buyer with, oh, you know, can I help you? You show up the car a lot. No, I'm just looking. Yeah, you packed your whole family up on a Saturday to just look around at cars. Of course they want a car. There's just they don't want to be sold a car, right? So how do I get past that knee-jerk reactions? How do I be able to deliver information to them so they don't I don't get in the way of the message? Because if you request information, whatever one anyone says, they need coverage. If you don't take time to request information via a letter or a phone call or online or clicking a form. Oh, I just got so many of these forms. I sent one back. <laughs> Okay, great. I still am not part of Dish Network and I get advertisements every other week from them if they're still around. So, you know, I I love the fact that Cody's involved because it, it, I say it's his fault, but 
he came up to me afterwards. I'm like, man, I just, I, I'm not like Tony Robbins. I never really wanted to go out and do this whole circuit thing. He's like, no, it's like, think about how many people that you could help with this. And it's like, that's what I love about Cody. Cause his heart's always in, he didn't say, think you can make a bunch of money on this. Cause we don't, if you ever do events, you lose, you barely break even if you're lucky. He said, think of how many people need you could help with this information that my mentor taught me. This isn't Nate stuff. So when we did our first event after 8%, it was mainly me and, and like one other person. And then as I started getting people, I was like, man, this is a platform. We can bring the top of the top. That's why you guys are invited. You're the top of the top at your, at your level of scale. So I mean, you're a millionaire at 27, John. You know, you, you ran direct buy together and you guys crushed it. And you were the youngest franchisees. I mean, your resume is just outstanding outside of insurance and in insurance. So I'm like going, I want those people to pour in. So everybody on that stage is not a speaker. They're a trainer. There's a big difference, right? You're getting there. I love the nightclub meets uh, meets success principles. We keep it fun. We keep it fast paced. We keep it moving. We keep you engaged on all levels, auditorily, visually, everything else. We take lots of breaks so your butt doesn't hurt and your brain doesn't explode. But it's it's based on a two and a half day. It's a workshop environment. And all the trainers that are there are seven level fake money earners in this industry on recruiting, on social media marketing, on leads, on building an agency, on selling on their own pen, on Medicare, healthcare, insurance. It has very little due to specifics of the different types of insurance, but more on overall in this industry, you're learning sales skills, strategic wealth accumulation tactics from the people who are out there doing them, still doing them and implementing them on a daily basis. And I'll say this, I always heard success is simple if you can cheat. Find someone who has what you want, do what they do, and you'll get what they got. So now this is my king swat. You're hilarious. It's a radtastical event. I play just a small role to share the things that really changed my life, my mentor. And we got 17 other trainers coming in this time, the most packed house we ever had, that are going to be teaching all this stuff. I, I'm fired up. Like, I'm going to have my notebook and pen and paper ready because it's like I learned more at those. I learned more at doing those events um, than I would even attend it because, like, I'm, like, teaching stuff. And I'm like, oh, shit. I should probably do doing this every day. <laughs> you know, we're humans. We get lazy, right? So I, I train myself while I'm up there. I'm like, it's like from a trainer's perspective. I'm like, yeah, da, da, da. I'm like, oh crap. In the back of my head, I'm like, I should have done that last week, or you know, I should have treated that person differently when I yelled at him because that's not their personality. So I'm excited, man. I'm excited to have you guys there. I'm excited to have Cody. I'm excited to have. I don't want to start naming names because they're not on here, or else I'll forget to name somebody, and they'll feel like he didn't mention my name, and I'll get emails and. <laughs> No, that's good. Miranda, I know that you even kind of said something from like just the very beginning of maybe him doing these events or some somewhere back there is that it just kind of made it like a little bit of an impact kind of in your organization. Yeah, I actually got to go to this right when I was new. It was, um, I guess it was before it was like formally SWAT, but it was the same, similar. He said some of the same stuff. And I'm, I was lucky because I just started cold market recruiting. And I remember I, I um, connected with a girl and I was standing in the parking lot of like Carabas and I, I knew her personality type from going to his training. And so I just spoke her language, the whole phone call. And she's still with us. Her name's Sarah B. If you guys know Sarah, she's been around since almost as long as me, but um, Eight years I wouldn't ago. have wow. connected with her as, unless I, the way that I did and, and built that relationship without going and I just, I've always kind of been lucky enough to have that the whole time I've cold market recruiting in the back of my mind. So thank you, Nate. For that. That's it awesome. Was awesome. And I can't wait to see it again now. Like I am so fired up. So hell yeah. I you were like the pre, you were like the pre SWAT before it was SWAT. We were just like 20 of us in the room talking. Yeah. About yeah. No, I was, <laughs> it doesn't matter. The principles are the same. So yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of grown. This is actually pretty much the first year we actually started really promoting. It. It's all just been kind of word of mouth and we like to keep it a very small, amount of people, less than 500 people. So it's a very strong workshop environment. It's a lot of interaction, um, show up ready to, to actually participate, you know? So if you're that person who wants to sit in the back and, and not participate, it may not be the event for you to come to because you're actively involved in learning. We're reprogramming your subconscious mind. The problem, John, we start off the event with this. Since we were little kids, we have all this bad programming in our brain and we don't have a delete button. Yeah. The only way to, and 90% of all decisions are made are through the subconscious mind. And if you actually start studying this, it's all over the YouTube, everything else. You're getting, you're learning stuff while you're in the womb in your final trimester up until seven years old. You don't even have conscious decisions you're making. So we bring you in this environment because the same thing my mentor did with me. And I went more than one to do it, right? But I went to over and over again. I started to be able to get new programming. 
And that's why my life was able to change because I knew programming that overrided the crappy programming, the bad habits that I had, all the things that, that, that we got taught growing up that aren't the keys of success. Unless you grew up in a great household, like Cody had a huge advantage. He had successful parents and he got a lot of great programming. That's why he's as successful as he is at, at his age and, and his work ethic, obviously. So that's a whole other part of it. So yeah. it's an experience. You can't live stream so, it. Like that. No, 100%. <laughs> let's, let's, let's give them, and like Cody, I'd love for you to kind of chime in too on both of these, just in this, these final like couple of minutes here. But um, give them a snippet of like what they're going to learn there. Give them something to get excited about. Um at this event like give them give them a little nugget give them a little tip give them a little trick cody if you want to kind of run with this one first that'd be awesome yeah so i would say uh for this specific event like me and nate have been talking quite a bit on on what i'm going to share and i'm going to share some marketing tactics and techniques that i have never shared from stage before like there's um i i i pretty much like i've, I've always been a marketer but i gave away marketing to a business partner that ran ran it for years over the last year i've taken the marketing company back um, and there are some str specific strategic things. Talk about strategic wealth accumulation tactics. There are specific things that I've used to, to strategically build wealth. Um, and these are the tactics that I've used to accumulate them. And I'm going to actually share specifically some key things that most people don't do. They're unaware of. Um, and, but, but if they do, they could absolutely start to go viral and blow up on social media. They could, they could start to attract a lot more people to their organization, uh, they can start to help a lot more consumers with generating leads, you know what I mean, et cetera. Um, yeah. And so I'm going to go into some, we, we've been talking through some of that, that I haven't shared before. Um, I've always been at SWAT. I've always been like um, sales trainer or success principles. And I'm like, you know what? We've got so many speakers. Nate's like, let's take a different approach this year. And I'm really going to dive into some marketing and social media secrets that I, I typically would not share from a stage. I love that, man. And how many followers do you have like through different platforms? About about three hundred fifty to four hundred thousand across. Okay. That's big. All right. <laughs> that's that's somebody that knows kind of what they're doing from from, from the marketing perspective. It's his fault that I have a YouTube channel now and all the other. It's that I'm not using correctly. I know. I know. Don't you are. Yeah, that's like Maybe such that's a terrible that's word. That's it's your fault, that. Cody. It's your in fault. A good way. On an amazing event. It's your fault that my YouTube channel is. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it, your fault. I'll take the way. blame. Yeah, it. right. It's like a good blame, I guess. That's a good. That's a good fault. It's his fault that you know, in, in a good way. So. All right. So Nate, what? what same I want to know. I'm flipping the script. What are you guys going to? What are you guys going to teach? What are you going to bring to the table? What, what are they going to get out of listening to? I, don't sell the sales podcast. Actually, do well. Thank you. You asked because I want to know what people want to hear. I want to see that in the chat. We already have an idea of what we're going to talk about. And it's something, again, that we've never talked about from stage. But I want to know, what are you going to come there to see? What do you want us to do Love from it. stage? I would say let's list the top three things that you feel is holding you back in your career in insurance. The top three things you wish that you thought that you could learn or you'd know. And we'll make sure we cover. It's probably already covered. But I, I think it's a, it's a tremendous idea. I mean, it's like, again, we can talk about stuff. I'm, I'm super fired up. We're going to do a lot of things this year we haven't done in the past. Um, I brought in a, I mean, top of the line recruiter in terms of cold market, warm market. And we're going to be sharing a stage and going back and forth for a good hour on just recruiting. And I'm, we're talk, mm -hmm. talking tonight. I'm fired up because I'm not going to tell you who it is because when you, when you just tell you, it's been probably one of the highlights of the event because I think everyone wants to recruit, expand and build their agency. Um, and he has such a phenomenal simple way to do it and he's had so much tremendous success in this business and other businesses of building like large sales teams of th tens of thousands of people yeah. uh, and so i'm very very excited about about that part and then and the very end of it obviously the color we, we talk about personalities and you guys can hear all that stuff and you know sales tactics but you know we're, we're taking it to another level here at the very end of the event and we're doing something that we've done small amounts with but uh it's just blueprinting your life um and that was huge for me because I, <laughs> the house I live in, I blueprinted when I was 20 years old. The wife I'm married to, I had in my journey book when I was 20 years old. Every materialistic, spiritual, mental, physical, I had my life planned out 20 years ahead and I had actionable steps on what to do on a daily basis to get to where I wanted to go. I know that was something that you thought was awesome because we write down our goals and stuff, but how many, most people put more time and energy picking out a birthday present for a friend or, or planning a trip than they ever do design their life. If you think about it, yeah, my mentor said, when's the last time you sat down and you mapped out where you're going to be in the next 20 years, 10 years, and five years? I said, never. He's like, most people haven't. So it's kind of like, how can you get to where you want to go if you don't know where you're going? 
That's right. So that's a very awesome part that we're going to spend a lot of time on at the very end of the episode. Love it. We're, we're, uh, we're a few, go ahead, Cody. Well, me also, la last time I saw Nate do this, I'm excited you're doing this again because he doesn't do this. He has different pieces that he does at, at each event, right? Last time I saw him do this, um, I saw, I saw a, the, like the em emotions of a room completely change. Yeah. You had people literally bawling because they were 27, 37, 47, 57 years old, and they had never done something like this their entire life. Most people never take a few minutes to actually think about the life that they want. And if you think about the most successful people on the planet, they didn't just wake up and be like, sweet, I've got everything I wanted. No, no, no. no. They were very strategic about what they were going to get and how were they, how they, how, and how they were going to get there. A lot of people too, they're like, well, I don't know how to do that. You're right. You don't. But until you go to an event or, or, or actually work with a mentor who can help you actually unlock those things and do that and help you through that mental, emotional, physical, spiritual journey of decades ahead, um, you're never going to take time. And if you keep track, like if you, if, if you, if you won't take three days away from your business to plan ahead, your business will never get to the level that you want. And so a lot of times we have to take a step back to take a bunch of freaking leaps forward. And that's what I love about that. There's so many pieces, but that specific piece, cool. bro, worth the price yeah. of it times a hundred. I love that. I love that. Right. Like it, it's, we, we talk about this all the time is like when you purchase a lead, you contract yourself to do what's right and not what's easy. And I think it's the same thing with stuff like this, right? It's like, are you doing what's right for yourself? Are you doing what's right for your future? Are you doing what's right for the families that you're meeting? Huh. Or are you just doing what's easy? And so let's take that step. And so Nate, go ahead and kind of promote it. I also believe there might be a little bit of a discount for people specifically under these platforms between ours and, and Cody's. Yeah, we're going to have a special link you can post. Um, just, put, you know, if you take the time to watch this and it resonates with you, you know, just try not to blast it out there. When else you know, <laughs> they're not watching it. have them go watch the podcast. Say, listen, you go watch the podcast. There's going to be a link at the end. Don't just give it out for free. Again, create value for them. Cause what, what Miranda and John are doing outside of this one, I mean, they're, they're, their podcast is getting so much traction so quickly because they're they're raw, they're real, they're quick. There's not only sitting for an hour and a half and hear them talk about nothing. I mean, I get actual sales tactics and skills and abilities that I can apply immediately. Um, so yeah, we'll have a link in there to get some special pricing on there. Um, there'll be another link that they can look at what ticket levels that we have. We're pretty much sold out of the top two tier ticket levels now, I believe. Uh, but it's May, yeah, May 16th to the 18th um, in Dallas, Texas. And you can go to swattraining.info forward slash events, swattraining.info forward slash events. There's a cool little QR code you can scan or click the button there and it has a whole interactive presentation. So you can actually just look at what you want. So you don't have to go through the whole website. So if you want to know about the ticket sales, you want to know about the speakers, the event agenda, do you want to know, you know, look at the past past event, what can I get? Do you want to hear testimonials of what people learn there um, and stuff? So I'm very fired up. I'm excited about that. Again, I don't know when this is, when this is popping out, but we're weeks away. Um, and uh, if you can just get a general ticket for a couple hundred bucks and sit in the back of the room and be there, I mean, it's worth it. You know, just get in the room, you know, yeah. worry about leveling up at a later time if it's if those tickets are gone, you know. Love it. And we'll uh, we'll get you guys some links to follow Cody Askins and, and Nate as well. Miranda, if they don't want to suck at sales, what do they need to do? Come to Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> Get your asses yeah. here. We're yeah. uh, we'll be there. We're super excited. Nate, yeah. Cody, thank you guys so much for coming on. We can't tell you guys how much we appreciate it. Miranda, bye y'all. <laughs> bye y'all. Fantastical. That's all I gotta say. It was fantastical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me some. Show me. Show me some. Show me. Show me some.